Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the settings which have direct or indirect effects on the cut plan. Cut plan generation or nesting is about finding the best placement of parts to be cut on raw material plates. Nesting is an optimization process which can be conducted against a number of different fitness functions such as best area utilization or minimum waste, best placement for weak suction, optimum placement for time or total cost, minimum tool usage, etc. What also indirect affects the nesting result is the material settings, especially whether or not the material has a grain and if it does, its direction. Material grain is a parameter either related to the surface of the material visually or to the mechanical features of it. In case the placement angle on the raw material makes a difference in the performance of the part at its final location in the end product, we say that the part as well as the raw material plate both have grains like horizontal or vertical or a certain angle. For example, if a part has the highest performance when it is cut out of a certain material plate at 35 degrees angle, we say that the grain of the part is 35 degrees. Sometimes even though the raw material has a grain, the part to be cut out might be okay in any direction. In this case, we might want to set don't care about the part grain option for minimizing the waste as the part would be rotated arbitrarily for optimum placement. In this video, we will use the embedded product interface to send a few modules into a project card, visit the flexible nesting options of Adecochem, and see the effects of placement options as well as of the indirect material settings on the final cut plan. Of course, these considerations are completely independent of how we populate the project card. Cut lists from CSV files, Adeco cabinet projects, part, door and product interfaces etc or combinations of these. Let's populate the project card with a few standard modules from A1K model with different dimensions and door model. As you can see the materials and parts become available on the project card. Let's see the doors first, moving the material to the second column and going to the nesting view. On the top left are the parameters that have direct effect on the cut plan optimization and below is the plate stock management window led where we see the list of plates of a certain material with their dimensions and available numbers. At the bottom is the summary applet which shows the total occupancy of the plates after optimization. On the right is the nesting result view which is empty now where the cut plan will be visible in a second. Let's set the gap between parts to be 8 millimeters such that in case we have have a tool with this diameter we can use smart cut sizing option in toolpath calculation step to save a significant amount of manufacturing time. I also would like to apply a 10 mm trimming cut around the plate before actual nesting as there might easily be defects due to rough handling of the plates during loading unloading cycles. Max rotation is the number of rotations of the plates allowed especially during manual cutting. Set this to 6 in case of a router CNC as this would yield the best result due to the fact that rotation is not important but the placement efficiency. Maximum number of layouts option is used to maximize the number of identical nesting layouts or in other words minimize non-identical plate layouts in multi-plate projects and to allow the processing of multiple plates at the same time if possible by placing them on top of each other. Placement direction is used to set main cut direction in guillotine cut for manual manufacturing. Mixed means do whichever the optimum is part and plate grain is always taken into account. At the end of this video I will demonstrate the use of this parameter as well. Minimum waste is the area threshold below which the parts having this area will be treated as waste while calculating the occupancy or nesting efficiency. I am selecting the plate stock for nesting and click on optimize cut plan button. The summary provides the total number of nested parts and consumed raw material plates as well as the total occupancy. Occupancy is simply the ratio of total part area to the total plate area and we would like to maximize this for better material use. On the right is the result of the cut plan. Red rectangles are the plates utilized with white part placed on them after optimization. Now let's modify the settings and inspect their effects on the final cut plan. Let me first select 2 in max rotation and see its effect on the result. 
As you can see, the waste increased significantly, but this is the easiest layout for manual cutting. Let's increase the setting to 3 and observe that area usage gets better and at the same time the layout gets worse for manual cutting. As this value increases, the layout gets better for router CNC's. Given the current set of the parts and the plate sizes in use, this parameter saturates after 3, but in case of large projects it would continue changing the result smoothly. At this point, let's talk about the effect of material grain, which is far from sight, on the cut plan optimization result. This is sometimes a bit overlooked as it is kind of an indirect interaction which affects the final cut plan. We have the material name here. Additionally, the available stocks of this material are listed here. So. This is a material in Adecochem's material library and this database has to have the grain of this material. This grain value is always taken into account while performing any optimization calculation. Let's now go to the material library. Find the material used for the cut plan optimization. Change the grain setting of the material to no grain and inspect its effect on the final cut plan. As you can see the parts are now rotatable as now the material has no grain. Note that we are not editing the nesting options here, we are editing the material settings. So we are affecting the final cut plan or nesting result without touching the nesting options. Go back to the material setting and this time set the material grain to be vertical. All the parts are now vertical. Let's get back to the nesting options. Another parameter which might have an interaction with the material grain setting is the placement direction nesting option. This option sets the main cutting axis in case of manual cutting without a router CNC. Set it to horizontal and see the result. Main cut direction became horizontal as we set. Set it to vertical and see how the cut plan changes accordingly. Now the main cutting direction of the plate is vertical. In this video, we visited the nesting options of Adecochem and also experienced the indirect but significant effect of the material grain setting on the final cut plan. Thanks for your attention.